one cell, one, one, one collection of DNA, a strand of it, um, came together with a cellular membrane mechanism. And, and that mechanism, that first cell, has turned into everything on this planet. And it did it just by reproducing, because that's what it does. It's a little reproducing machine. It just keeps reproducing. And that's all that this biology has been doing for billions of years, is creating things that are good at eating and not getting eaten. The DNA doesn't care how many defective organisms it creates. It doesn't care how many Frankensteins it makes that don't work. So there can be a circumstance where there's no advantage to being intelligent and no advantage to having a big brain that would use up all those resources. And that's certainly how a lot of life is kind of just stuck in its perfection. It's very functional. It doesn't need to change. It can stay the same way for a trillion years because nothing can really do it better. It's for what it's trying to do, for what it's exploiting, it, nothing can exploit it better. To, to un, I mean, you have to understand this minimum amount of what this chemistry is doing to really appreciate what we're part of, what we're caught up in. Um, you know, that it, it's just this mechanical process. This is just chemistry, insane chemistry. Trillions and zillions and gazillions of, of individual cellular structures that are essentially all the same thing. We're a kind of maggot that grew on planet Earth. Yeah, again, you know, this is just all such big talk. Humans can do this, humans can do that with this great little pile of information we have. We don't do any of that crap anyway. This whole idea that some human is sitting here contemplating three generations down the road or ten generations down the road. They're not doing any of that, people. There's people right now having kids. They have, like, claw hand disease, and there's a one in three chance their kid is going to have claw hand disease, and they're going to fucking have the kid anyway. That's how thoughtful they are. All right, that's how thoughtful they are of the down, downside implications into the future about their kids carrying those same genes into the future. And the only difference between the fucking human maggots and the regular maggots is that human beings have nuclear fucking maggot bombs. They're still selfish motherfucking pieces of shit. All our goddamn intelligence hasn't, hasn't gotten humans. They're using their intelligence as scheming weapons. Okay, in the struggle to survive, to plow the stupid DNA field that doesn't need to be plowed, where nothing's going to be planted. It's just a pointless chase carrots, run from sticks, bullshit game. Um, and all this little glorification that humans or beings are doing something spiritual or soulful or, or, or beautiful or magnificent with their fucking presence here is just a big pile of crap. You know, that's where this, this whole game starts, is with this concept of a reproducing DNA molecule. Right? That's what the, the, the thing is made out of. That's the core of it. Um, and so, yeah, where you would put the victims of the living mechanism out of their misery. You would humanely put a dog to sleep. Life needs to be humanely put to sleep. Um, it, it needs to be put out of its jeopardy of, of you know, living just through bleak, awful horror. What, what there is is this screaming evidence of billions of years. It's kind of a spooky word. Billion years. I mean, billion. <laughs> One thousand million years um, of, of, of this eking out of an existence, of this, this drama of, of consume and be consumed um, being played out. I mean, this, this horrible, long Broadway play that is the biggest piece of crap ever written. And it goes on and on and on and it plays on forever and the echo is still echoing and the, the, the stench of it is, is still plaguing the, the, the environment. It's, 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 it's still lighted with the sound of this horrible, awful um, horror of Tyrannosaurus chomping on entrail. And so you're just saying, no, we've got to keep Superman, but Superman is cool. Well, you can't keep Superman. You can't keep the value of intelligence. You can't keep the meaning of anything, really, um, until you keep the fucking horror. You've got to keep the fucking victim.